Hey, my name is Jonathan, and I'm um, doing another vlog in the middle of a field because I love fields, and it still makes really turns me on. It makes me really horny being out here because I love fields, and fields are really erotic. Like in general, the forest and woods and trees are really erotic for me, and just being outdoors in general um, <laughs> makes me really horny. It turns me on. But, there, first of all, there's a rambling warning to this vlog because I might ramble a little bit because I don't, do not know exactly what I'm going to say. But the main thing I want to say is that I know people tell you dare to be different. Um, but there is a price, a price tag to being a different person. And that is rejection. Because... I love who I am and I feel like I have a high self-esteem and I like who I am but I am a different person and I um, stand up for my own values. I make my own choices of what I value personally and um, I am rejected by everybody basically like I am 37 years old and I've never had a girlfriend my entire life and I'm actually a, a virgin. I've never even kissed a girl before, and like, not a, a girl hasn't even had a crush on me in my entire life, so I don't even know what it feels like for a girl to have a crush on you. Uh, must be a wonderful and amazing thing for someone to love you like that, but, like, how am I different? Like, I, for one thing, talking about the woods and outdoors, I grew up um, in a national forest, and the, for the first 14 years of my life, all I did was spend time outdoors, exploring the forest, exploring the woods, and I would do it without without wearing anything, <laughs> um, without wearing any clothes. So, like, I am still a uh, practicing nudist, and I even think it's wrong. It's morally wrong to wear clothes. I believe that fanatically. So, at the same time. Like, I'm a nudist, and it's wrong to wear clothes. I like um, walking outdoors nude, and I'm a nudist. But at the same time, um, it's also wrong to have all forms of sex outside of marriage. So, like, even though I'm a virgin, like, I am saving myself sexually for my future wife. And because, like, every day I pray for my wife, and, um... Because I want to be faithful to her, and I, I will show her that I am a faithful person, and that I want to show my love to my future wife by being faithful to her now. So I will not have sex outside of marriage because I love my future wife. So like I cannot even relate to um, most people because most people, uh, especially my age, have had sex and are really not sexually pure people. Most Americans, especially, are not sexually pure people. So I cannot relate to most people because they are not sexually pure. They do not practice any form of sexual purity. So that's one way I'm rejected by people because I just I cannot relate to most people because people like are sexually impure. And at the same time, I'm a nudist. At the same time, I don't I believe it's wrong to wear clothes. So that's one way I'm different and um Maybe it's very subtle. Most rejection I receive is subtle, but some is outright rejection. So, like, also, I really love Jesus. Jesus Christ is my best friend, and I talk to Jesus regularly, and he talks to me regularly, and I'm, very, I'm a very mystical person. And, um, by the way, sorry about my hair. Like, I cannot help my hair. I was born with hair like this, and, like, maybe it looks messy right now, but, like, it really matches the uh, grass and trees, my whole natural look I got going here, but yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I love Jesus Christ, and Jesus is my best friend. I'm a very mystical person, like, I write lots of poetry, and um, I feel, just because of the way I grew up, basically, growing up in the forest, I feel one with Mother Earth, I feel one with the grass, and the, the sky, and the, with the wind, and the trees right now. I experience a spiritual oneness with Mother Earth, 
and I'm a very mystical person. So, like, there's that aspect about it, like, love Jesus, mystical person, and most people that are not a Christian cannot relate to that. Most people, even most Christians are not mystical people, and they don't know what it means to, um, experience union with God and just, um, be filled, uh, in a continual manner, filled with the Holy Spirit, um, just love, joy, and peace flowing through me on a continual basis. So most people cannot relate to that. So there's that aspect of it. So you would think, oh, well, some Christians will accept you, Jonathan, and you'll, you're not rejected. But at the same time, like, I am a big fan of Bill Maher, and I hate religion, um, and I make fun of religion, I make fun of <laughs> Christians, and I'm not afraid to, I'm not even afraid to make fun of God, even though... <laughs> Um, I, I'm one with God at the, at the same time. So, like, I am a very left-wing person. I'm very, very progressive. Like, I'm against all forms of nationalism. I don't even call myself an American. I am not an American. I am an internationalist because I am against borders. So, yeah, I'm a very... <laughs> And I believe in legalization of weed, because there's nothing wrong with weed. Like, smoke, it's like drinking Red Bull is so much more serious than smoking weed. And, uh, so, like, yeah, I'm very far left. And I'm, like, I'm against all war. And it's just ironic because, like, Christians don't like me because I'm so anti-war. Um, I'm very much against war. Like, I tell... I regularly tell U.S. soldiers and U.S. veterans that you have to, by your own philosophy, you have to kill me. If you're going to be consistent with your philosophy, and if I will be consistent with my philosophy, I need to proactively surrender myself to the U.S. military, to the Pentagon, and say, you must kill me because I am a pacifist. Like, I cannot... I cannot really call myself a pacifist unless I offer myself to be killed. Offer myself to be killed by the military. Um, so, like, like Christians hate me because I say that, and it's ironic because Jesus was against the war. So, like, yeah. So I'm like very different clouds. Seriously, it makes me so horny being out here. I like wanna fuck some girl out here right in the middle of this field <laughs> even though I'm a virgin and I've never done anything with a girl so like random rambling like right now I already have a bachelor's degree I have a bachelor's degree in sociology the concentration in Middle East studies so I'm going to school here for getting another bachelor's degree in peace studies because I want my I want I'm planning on going into radical social work and so instead of going to grad school getting MSW because an MSW is basically you're an agent of the state, and um, what, what radical social work is 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 client-led, grassroots-led policy. Policy that's not top-down policy, changing policy at the grassroots level, and understanding that social problems are from the entire economic, political, and social structure. Uh, social problems um, that you experience, like the personal, is the the personal is political. That's the one. I'm an anarcho-socialist, and so that's what we say. That uh, um, so yeah, that's understanding what radical social work is. So well, I love it out here. That's just I warned you I was gonna ramble. Um, so that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I've never had a girlfriend my entire life, even though I've pursued a lot of girls, and I really don't know what's wrong with them. Maybe it's what's wrong with me is maybe it's like I'm creepy because when I do fall in love with a girl I like lot, write lots of poetry for her and and write her music even and send her gifts and flowers maybe that comes across as creepy like someone that's not attracted to you does that all that for you but like when I fall in love I with someone I fall in love really hard with someone so I cannot help I'm a very romantic person so um those are some ways I'm different, but have experienced uh, rejection. It's random. I just love it out here. 
Oops, okay. So, yeah. But I want to do say, uh, anyone who is watching this out there, I love you so much and you are awesome. And uh, I love you. Bye.